Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in BC, in BF and in GF by method of sections. In the point A there is a roller support and in the point D there is a hinged support. We know that in the roller support there will be only one reaction. In the hinged support there will be two reactions. Let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 and find hd. In this truss there is no horizontal load so hd will be 0. This truss is symmetrical and the loading is also symmetrical. So we can easily find va and vd. We have to add these loads. When we add we will get 1 2 0. Then we have to divide that by 2. In this way for VA and VD we will get a 60 kN. We need to find the length of AF. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle let us apply Pythagoras theorem. Here we have 6 meter and here we have 3 meter. So AF will be equal to root of 6 square plus 3 square. For AF we will get 6.71 meter. We know that the length of AG and GF are same. So to find the length of AG, we have to divide 6.71 by 2. In this way, we will get 3.35 meter. Also, we have to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. One more time, let us take this triangle. Now in this triangle, let us find tan theta. Tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. In the opposite side we have 3 and in the adjacent side we have 6. Finally for theta we will get 26.56. From the joint G let us make a vertical line. Let us keep this point as G dash. We have to find A G dash. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle let us find cos theta. We know the cos theta formula. That is adjacent side upon hypotenuse side. Here the adjacent side is AG dash and the length of hypotenuse side is 3.35. In this way for AG dash we will get 3 meter. If it is 3 meter G dash B will be 1 meter. To find the member forces in GF, FB and in BC we have to make a section like this because this section cuts the 3 members. We can take either the left side or the right side and do the analysis. I am going to take the left side because it is going to be easy. By taking moment about F, we can easily find FBC. When we take moment about F, we should not consider FFG, FBF. The remaining forces are 60, 15, 30 and FBC. This 60 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 60 into 6, 15 and 30 are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So both of them are negative. For 15, the distance is 6. For 30, the distance is 3. Here we have 1 meter and here we have 2 meter. 1 plus 2, it will be 3. FBC is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So that it will be negative and the distance is 3. For FBC, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. To find FFJ easily, we have to take moment about to B. When we take moment about to B, we should not consider FBC and FBF. The remaining forces are 15, 60, 30 and FFG. 60 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 60 into 4. These two loads are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So both of them are negative. For 15 the distance is 4. For 30 the distance is 1. About the point E, FFG is not perpendicular. We can resolve FFG with respect to AB. We have to keep f of g vertical. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. This angle is 90 minus 
26.56 so that will be 63.44 now about the point B f of g is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 and we have to multiply with cos 63.44 for f of g we will get a negative value that means it is compressive we have to find this angle let us keep this angle as theta let us take this triangle in this triangle let us apply tan theta formula. Tan theta will be 3 upon 2. In this way for theta, we will get 56.31. If we take moment about A, we can easily find FBF. When we take moment about A, we should not consider 15, 60, FFG and FBC. The remaining forces are FBF and 30. That T is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. We know that this distance is 3. About the point A, FBF is not perpendicular. We can resolve FBF. We have to keep it vertical. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. This angle is 90 minus 56.31. So that we will get 33.69. About the point A, FBF is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to multiply with the cos 33.69. Finally, for FBF, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile.